Hello, in this video we're going to be working out this integral. We have the integral of x squared times the natural log of x with respect to x. To do this problem we're going to use the integration by parts formula. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. The integration by parts formula says if you have the integral of u dv, this is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. As a general rule, when you're using the integration by parts formula, you want to pick your u and you want to pick your dv, and you want to do it in a way so that the derivative of u is simpler than u, and dv is the most complicated part that you know how to integrate. So in this particular case, I mean, we do know how to integrate l and x, but it does require integration by parts. Like if you were just to integrate l and x, that's a whole other problem where you use parts. So we're going to pick u to be l and x, and dv to be x squared dx. The derivative now is du, which we need to find for the formula. So the derivative of u is du, the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, and then don't forget to write the dx. We're using what's called differential notation here when we differentiate. So when we find the derivative of u, we simply write du. Here we have to integrate both sides. Integrating dv is going to give us v. Integrating x squared, we'll use the power rule, so we add 1 to the exponent and divide by the result. So it'll be x cubed over 3. All right, let's go ahead and write down the original problem one more time. So we have the integral of x squared, ln x, dx. This is equal to, and now we'll apply the formula. So it's uv, so it's this times this. Now this can be written as 1 third x squared, so let's put that 1 third out front. Let's put the x cubed here. And then we'll put the ln x here. It's just better to put the x cubed in front of the ln x so, like, so it doesn't look like this. Because that can cause confusion. Okay. Minus the integral of v du. So this times this. x cubed over x. What's going to happen here is that one of the x's is going to cancel. So we're going to be left with x squared. We can also pull out this one third. So we have x squared dx. Right. That's v du. So this times this. Again, we lose a copy of x and then I pulled out the one-third. This is easy to integrate, we can just use the power rule. This is equal to one-third x cubed ln x minus one-third. Using the power rule here, we'll add one to the exponent and divide by the result. So it's x cubed over three plus our constant of integration, capital C. So this is equal to one-third x cubed ln x minus one-ninth, right, because three times three is nine, x cubed plus c. And that would be the final answer. So yeah, that's how you use integration by parts. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. Also, if you want to learn mathematics, I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, and Udemy is a great place for courses. But if you buy them, please, please, please use the links from my website. It helps me a lot. And also, I've lowered the prices to make them as low as possible, so when you use the links from my website, you should get a low price. I've got courses on Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3. In fact, I have multiple courses on Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3. Differential equations, advanced calculus, abstract algebra, and lots of other mathematics. Keep doing mathematics.